Welcome to the Pokémon Dimension. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to... Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, to this update video. Today marks one year of... Woo! Daily uploads on this channel. And I am very tired. <laughs> <laughs> I work very hard to do these daily uploads, but they're also a bunch of fun. So I thought it'd be nice to talk about how I feel about everything, what's up for the future, and how it's been since a year ago, you know. So first off, let me talk about analytics are a cool thing on YouTube that shows us how we do certain things. And I will say, for someone who's been doing Pokken and other playthrough content, Obviously, most people come here for Pokken, as you can see by, like, you know, the views, usually. I still do a decent amount, like, for what it is for the playthrough stuff. And that makes me want to continue with that. B Grand Blue did decently for the first video back for that as well. I'm hoping to keep it, like, at least consistent. But I also want to keep improving and find those people. And I think I've found certain audiences for both Pokken and my other types of content. And I think that's wonderful. Obviously, Pokken is the main thing. That's where most of you guys are probably from. 619. I think when I started this yearly upload thing i was at around 95 or so so we've that's over 500 and i thought that was totally insane reaching 500 was just like whoa that's that's so crazy for poking stuff that makes it ah man because this channel helps a lot of people when it comes to tutorials or who just wants to see sets and other things and it means the world to be making people enjoy their time watching me do silly nonsense especially with this like celebration type of video i have right here for you know the best moments and stuff if you haven't checked that out that was uploaded yesterday uh, i guess i'll show that real quick but i think when it comes to my content my favorite type of content to do that isn't the pokin content that's just sets i love doing the tutorials and stuff i think my f and the uh, wait especially here wait one sec apologies if i'm really all over the place but that's why i usually follow a script and speaking of a script this is probably my biggest video i've had that's done very well very quickly and i just want to say y'all i worked super hard in this video and the fact that it did really well for it is i just thank you and if you guys haven't checked out this video either i'll have it in the description along with the highlights video as i've already said thank you guys because it makes me very happy that a video with a lot of effort put into it like this like you guys wouldn't believe like just getting random footage of me recording it takes a lot of like oh i gotta find a specific moment and i'm like very kind of ocd about certain things so i'm like i gotta have it like end at the perfect frames or whatever not not exactly but it helps me go on knowing that people do appreciate all this types of big content and that goes into my next point that i want to talk about which is what is going to happen for the future uh, besides just talking about all the, you know, channel analytics, my videos usually do decently well, and I appreciate everyone who just, like, average viewer time is decent, of course, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, sorry. But anyway, about the future, like I said, all over the place. When it comes to future content, I think I will want to focus on these types of videos. Maybe I will upload the sets, I will try to do daily uploads still. But if I do have to end up missing a day, I've already completed my goal of like a full year, so I won't be too sad if I do have to use like a break day or whatever. I would really hope to do more and more content that's like this or the tutorials and stuff such as my dashing tutorial. Let me find that real quick. Something like this as well that goes over the Pokémon's mechanics. So I, this series I had, a full guide series of the ins and outs of Pokémon. I really want to keep doing more of those and I'm glad I got one of those off. And especially I had a series too, which I will also look up real quick, of talking about Pokémon who are not in the game and what movesets they could have. I really want to revamp this series. Oh, oh, it's not here? Oh, dang. Oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> My first one. So, as you guys can see right now, I kind of have to go through a slideshow, and I even had a poll talking about, hey, should I continue the series just as it is? And most people said no. And I agree with you. It just makes a lot of sense. Like, this is just lazy effort, I feel. And not like the lazy where it comes to, like, my Pokémon sets, which are pretty easy to put together. Because that's still gameplay and stuff. This is literally just me going through a slideshow. So I completely understand the people not liking it. What I'd hope to do is try to find a way to make it more entertaining. I guess I could show, like, stuff from, like, the anime as, like, footage and other things. And something I really want to kind of do is get animation models of a Pokémon doing certain actions or whatever. But I know that would take a lot of effort for, like, rigging and stuff. And I'm no animation expert at all. But maybe who knows maybe i'll learn it just for this or whatever but it would be very fun to have that as like a visual representation of like how exactly i'd want a move to work especially with a big request that i do plan on having next which is greninja be on the lookout for that it might take a while but i do keep my promises sometimes they just take a while to get to and i appreciate you all for being so patient with all these 
different types of uploads, especially recently, because I feel like I've been a bit lazy ever since this best of and worst of anti airs because everything else has been kind of like a little ad libbing. Like I do research like for the Whimsica Pachirisu projectile war video and this video too. This one was actually a pretty one. I one I liked a lot talking about the fighting types and stuff. But be besides that, a lot of it has just been from my streams, whether that's from playthrough content, which does take a bit to effort to edit together and I do appreciate y'all should check that out because it, <laughs> it does take a lot of like cutting out some of these could be like over half an hour long or hours long but uh enough showing for that or you know just the lazy sets that I kind of put together but you know I spice them in the way that it could still be entertaining because these could also be like <laughs> extra five minutes long for no reason of just waiting in between games basically what my point is I want to put more effort into these videos but I also really want to do more playthrough videos and because of that if I'm not doing a set and I still want to do an upload for that day, it might be a playthrough video, and if, of course, most people aren't going to be interested in that type of stuff, and I completely understand. I just want that time, if I am going to do daily uploads, to help those people out who want to be entertained in watching my playthrough videos, because there are those people, and of course, put in a lot of effort into the big videos like the dashing guide or the breaks in history video or the all the other types of content i've done even for the slideshow stuff for the poke and set that takes a lot of effort because i gotta think it all up get the footage for like the basic moves and stuff but either way i want to do more videos like that obviously you can see right here videos that are based on like the just my sets for my stream still do well i will of course be uploading those but i will not trying to be going daily in a way that's going to make me unhealthy with a sleep bad sleep schedule or I just force it out at like 11 p.m. <laughs> or like 11:59 p.m. which did happen a few times but hey it's technically the day before so technically daily uploads woo uh <laughs> basically kind of hinted at it it's to help me fix my sleep schedule while also putting more effort into content that everyone else would enjoy and that I personally find more interesting besides just the poking sets but obviously I'll have the poking sets there still even though I did do daily content it did feel like most of it Probably more than half of it was kind of just from my stream and it's just like a playthrough video or a set video and while it is a lot of effort to put in the playthrough videos especially when I did Brave Default 2 god that take forever when it's like the set videos these are almost at a hundred and you know it's pretty easy to put together I think it's just me personally feeling bad about it for no reason but people enjoy it so I'm more than happy to continue it this might be my favorite video that I've uploaded so far just because a lot went into it personally it's very detailed and I want to be very detailed and be very entertaining and sometimes I just fail at being entertaining so I gotta be smart to make up for it. And while we're here let me go all the way back to the first upload I did which is gonna take a while because I should know this is actually loading pretty quickly. <laughs> Man, Ivan, uh, we went through a lot of playthroughs. Let me talk about that real quick. All the playthroughs I did, starting at my first upload, actually, which was this. Literally one year ago. Here we are. These four videos, while it was daily, these were just the VODs, and that's just because I felt lazy. But ever since this video right here uh, for the Pokemon series, it's been all edited down, and especially when I got to... Not, not Platinum. Platinum kind of took a toll because Platinum is just kind of a slow game. And Ibn Ab was kind of a nice break in between, along with King of Cards. But when we hit Bravely Default 2, y'all can see almost hour-long videos across the board. Some of them a little less. These VODs take forever, and I was not prepared for it, but I was staying determined. And this probably took up like four, five, or six months to complete fully to do. And then I got some easier uh, Let's Plays to do that are very fun, like the co-op stuff with Kirby and Shovel Knight, and now also Metroid Dread. We've been going through quite a bit of playthroughs, which is surprising considering Brave of Default took forever. Technically finished around uh, six, I think. I think uh, Shovel Knight and Metroid Dread are seven and eight, respectively. But either way, it makes me happy to also have those and then also bringing back some Grand Blue. It might just be Grand Blue sets or tournament sets that are going to be the main uploads because I don't know too much about the game to really be talking in depth about it. But for Pokémon, obviously, gonna be talking in depth about that for lots of different topics. And I'm more than excited to continue going on to make everyone happy, entertained, and learn more stuff about Pokémon because Pokémon is a great game. I'm probably going around in a bunch of circles right now, but hey, you guys subscribe to me. It's your fault for <laughs> sticking around with me. My brain don't function, guys. Woo. Ignored this video up here, by the way. I, I, I'm never gonna upload this. I just have it there. <laughs> Another thing that I did unlock recently, actually, which I was not expecting, because YouTube actually changed it to you don't need a thousand subs like you need for ads for this, which is just community posts. And this is something I've wanted. Like, this was the thing I was looking out for more than the ads. So I'm very happy that I'm able to do this to interact with y'all and ask you a bunch of questions. Like the Pokemon Moose series I was talking about before, if I should continue with the way it is or not. So getting feedback like this with polls and other types of comments is very 
<sighs> exciting so I can talk with you all much more than just being in a YouTube comment section. But I think that's it. I think we talked about pretty much everything that I had in mind. Went through my history of starting out as a Pokemon Sword and Shield thing all the way for the other playthroughs. Talked about how I felt for Pokken. Pokken's going to be much more exciting now that offlines are happening, so... Uh, oh yeah, I guess I should mention, I, d I did forget one thing, when offlines are happening, I might consider making vlogs, that's something I have been thinking about for a while now, but doing vlogs on my daily life of living in my bedroom for the past year and a half, probably not the best idea, but I will be doing it for events. And that will also include Grand Blues, so I hope y'all enjoy all that, and I hope if you do guys, I, I know I shield a few times, but if you want to watch the other videos of like Grand Blue and play through stuff, I'm, I swear I'm funny, and... At least watch the Kirby and Shovel Knight series, because that's a co-op thing, and I think I'm funnier when I'm with someone else. So, yeah, we're showing again one more time before I say thank you. Y'all mean a lot to me, and y'all are the reason I even got this far in the first place. Like, over 500 subs in the year, I mentioned before. Insane. So... To a future of Pokken, to a future of playthroughs, to a future of Granblue, to a future of much, much more for this channel. I thank you, and thank you for your patience for all of these big uploads that I do plan on doing. That I feel the need that I'm uploading a bit of easier content for. I will try to limit that as best I can, but with my plans for the future, I think I will be able to perform uh, a lot better when it comes to making those big content. So, see you guys next time, and remember... Praise the grape god himself, Cascoon, the lord, the savior. I will never eat a grape in my entire life because of you. <laughs> See you guys next time.